Right guys, um, here we are once again, one of my um, super little um, demonstrations. So I'm gonna show you the, the actual student workbook and then I'm gonna show you the PDF that the students are gonna write in. Um, they both mirror each other exactly the same, um, as you can see, um, just for the NEA, it's 124 pages at the moment. There's still a few more bits to go in. Um, if these things start off, really 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 simple and then all of a sudden um somebody gets a a, a white idea and the next thing there's another 10 15 20 pages um all right let's have a look at the box so as you can see you've got your content page and um, the graphics are just lush um imagine opening this on on your your mobile phone your tablet straight away crikey you know exactly where everything is you can actually turn that um, noise down um, it's entirely up to you so again what I've got here guys is I've got learner brief in the book and then if you go over to here the PDF the students can actually click on and, and decide which brief they want so this is the one that the students will work in um, and, and you'll give feedback um, and, and they'll, they'll complete all the, the bits Again, different transition to this one. Um, and this is the one that you can use in class. Um, you can use a home, again, um, word for word, exactly the same. Um, I am gonna turn that down, I think, or off. There we go, there's a little Uchi at the bottom. Oh, there we go, I'll just, oh. Cool. just turn it off and off but yeah um you can do little bookmarks um th th there's just tons and tons and tons of things um you can zoom in um put thumbnails in there bookmarks so look, there's, there's lots of functions in this so again let's go back to that rather than skip through it so very very similar i'll just flip through so you can see it here um there you go, mirrored. Kids can click on, or you can click on what they've covered, what they haven't covered. Um, kids do the work in here. Extended answers, um, knowledge checks. So again, it's it's just so good. Um, one of the things I keep doing is. <laughs> um, yeah, flicking through it with, with my mouse. So again, I'm going into 1.2. I'll just use this. It, um, but just look at the data. Lots and lots of activities built in, key points. Straight away, we've just looked at that one. I mean, look at that data in terms of protein. Um, activity, activity, activity. Key points, knowledge check, practice any year. And it just follows the same mantra all the way. And again, let's just have a quick butchers through here. So again, the kids. So this can be in a secure place in school. Um, OneDrive, Teams, where, wherever you want it. And this can just be for the students to, you know, use in class. Uh, you could use it as a, as a teacher um, reference, you know, put this up on the board. So again, we're still on nutrition. And again, let's just let's see what... Okay, more knowledge checks. I'm having a game of there. Lots of crosses, but yeah, you, 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 you can it. I hope you get the chest. Um, oh, I said I wasn't going to do that. Well, I, honestly, I'm a bit of a clutch sometimes. Um, again, special diets. Look at this data. So, in terms of consistency, it is pretty. Pretty um, good the way it flows. Okay. In terms of supporting students' knowledge and understanding.
for all of these different activities. And again, the activities could be something you set for homework. Um, it, I mean, once you've got it, you've got it. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, but the thing we love about this software that we've um, kind of purchased is it emails us every day or, as, or whatever we want really and tells us who's logged in. So whoever we've, whoever's purchased this will get a unique password and get a unique um, login and then it'll let us know. Um, and if there's someone on there that um, hasn't had that or that there's a, there's a funny email lurking around or yeah, that person will get an email and ask them why they've got this. Um, so yeah, and that's just to stop people being naughty like they have done in the past. So let, let's, let's keep going with the, the positivity. Um, so again, for me, by far, I think this is the most complex of them all, um, which is the um, dish proposals. So we've got things like the advantages and the disadvantages. This is how I like to teach this. So the students kind of make conscious decisions um, based on the advantage of using this would be this, the disadvantage of using it would be this, but linking it to the brief. Um, look at that. I mean, again, when we start looking at the ingredients that we're going to use for our dishes, we've got a quick pinpoint of, I'm going to use this because it's in season here. You know, and the students can then start looking at the different ingredients that they're using and, and seeing if they are in season or if they're not. Um, so when they're talking about the ingredients that they're using that are in season, um, they've got a quick reference. And again, I don't see enough of this um, from students. Is they talk so much about this, you know, oh, fruit and veg. They, they only seem to think fruit and veg is in season. Um, but again, um, I always get them a reference. Um, the meat and fish, and again, more activities. And that's just, yeah, I mean, skills of staff. Even the different qualifications. So again, if you're doing things like, I've got a few students who are doing desserts rather than um, main meals. So it just supports them when they're talking about the skills and the attributes that they'll need. So again, let's just move over. So as you can see, students can work in these. Work in these. Work in these. And all this again in some respects supports the exam as well well i said i wasn't gonna do that and guess what i've done that right so again we're looking at equipment so i get the students to think about types of dishes what's the most important piece of equipment and, and discuss why um, again linking it to the brief Again, more tasks, more data. Let's have a look at this one. Again, write a trip advisor review of the bistro. I mean, it, and it just gets the students thinking about them, the important parts before they have a go. At, oh, look at how much is coming to knock myself out in a minute. <laughs> uh, look at that, I mean. Just lovely. More knowledge checks and um, more tasks. This is really good, I think, is in, in 2.1, when you start looking at certain dishes and you start looking and, and linking the seasonal ingredients and the skills that the staff will need to be able to prepare it and the equipment, and then what points do you have to consider? Is it a time issue with the dish? Is it a time issue with, you know, the staff might not have enough time? Then we start looking at cost. So again, it just gets the students, and you can do this in 2.1 if you wanted, to think about those those dishes 
prior to going in and selecting them in 2.3. So again, you've got that link. So 2.2. No more clumbersome and um, Word documents. The kids can print these out when they're done and those notes can, you know, they, they, they can use that there on notes then. So, again, knowledge checks, uh, modification of dishes. Customer needs, straight into organoleptic, couple of activities, more work on organoleptic, sight, sound, touch, a production plan, I just need to pop that in. And then there's another section that we've added, and this is what took the slight delay, is there's so much, what's high skill, what's low skill, what's medium skill. So. I've just kind of added what we do um, here with some examples to hopefully get the students excited um, about it. So we've broken it into, um, and you'll see the link in a second. So we've got a poultry section. Go away. We've got a fish. Um, we've got just a general meat. So you've got beef wellington here, a burger, a roulade, a rack of lamb. A massacre, um, land and sea. Then we've got a massive, massive pasta one. We, you know, I'd probably say out of, out of all of the different sections, pasta is probably the most versatile. So I've just got a couple more bits to add to that. Then we've got some meat alternatives, some sauces, some bread. Then we've got some savory pastry. He says with a white chocolate and herb um, shoot bun. Um, and then we've got some sweet pastry dishes, and then we've got lots and lots of dairy here. And then there's another section on food presentation. And again, if you've ever been to any um, presentations I've ever done, I'll talk a lot about a blueprint. The, the blueprint is, um, yeah, it, I won't even let a kid consider making the dish until I've seen the blueprints. Um, but yeah, I'm just geeky like that. And then just to enhance the students' knowledge of um, different commodities. We've added a whole section on commodities and we've got one, two more bits to go in this, which is where the delay is. This, this wasn't meant to be part of it. And then all of a sudden, um, I think I had two glasses of wine and decided it was a grand idea. Um, and do you know what? It is, but it's just taking a little bit more time. So you've got, um, I'll, I'll go back rather than me babbling about wine. So what you've got is the different types of fish, um, the techniques, um, quality points, the different cuts, round, flat. Uh, then you've got the filleting, round fish, flat fish, skinning, then different preparation and cookery types, so battering, goujons, marinade and storage. And then the different cookery methods and, and that's fish then we go straight into pasta so again you've got the different types of equipment you're going to need and then the stages of making rolling and um, shaping pasta different types how to cook and stuff pasta then we're going into poultry and then there's going to be a dessert section a vegetable section and something else um, off the top of my head um, but again so they're very very similar I mean the, the, the bonus is is you can print this one out as well so if you wanted to have some hard copies um, students who may not have um, the luxury of a, of a computer um, students who might be working in a different room no access to computers you could have a couple of hard copies of this printed. Um, you know, put on your VLE, as long as it's in a secure area where the students need to use their own password to obtain it, then there's nothing wrong with that. But again, as you can see, it's... Let me just go back to the beginning. 
get it and oh it's just flawless i mean absolutely like the yeah it's just stunning i don't want to sound overly excited i never really do if anyone's seen any of my videos wife always takes a mix she goes scott how does anyone ever get anything off you you don't sound very excited but i am deep down inside i'm i'm i cannot wait to get back with the air tens on um he says on monday um but yeah this my year tens will be using this my year nines will be using this um from now on that that's it it's um class no more textbooks lying around um i might put them on ebay <laughs> um but yeah um, um, and just when it's done i reckon it'll be probably about 150 and that's that's just for um the nea section so um yeah I babbled on for 16 minutes just going through this and any more questions just just let us know um apologies to the, to the amount of people who've already got this and i said i put it out today um but i'm pretty sure when you see that what you've seen quite a lot of the commodity section you'll see that it's worth waiting an extra two days because it's um it's on a different planet um yeah it's just it's just so good so good uh, any questions just send us a just send us a pm um and then hopefully once it's done tomorrow night um i can get some sleep and um yeah safe in the knowledge that there's an absolutely amazing digital textbook um there for for all to see and um, a class pdf that students can work in um i don't I, I don't know anything similar. You know, my wife just been telling me that she pays a mind boggling 800 pound subscription a year for Caboodle, Key Stage 3, as well as um, 800 pound a year for Key Stage 4, 1600 pound a year subscription. And then you've got your, um, the, what is it, the PG Online, you know, um, I don't need to do a food one, but I know the, the product design one, 1600 pound to buy, 1600 pound. Um, you know, then you've got others like the, um, oh, what's it called? Yeah, well, you, you have to pay a subscription for a certain amount of students and that's ridiculous, um, uh, 16, 15, 1600 pound. So yeah, um, hopefully guys, I'm, I'm giving you some of that. Oh, I'm just getting used to these screens, by the way. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm flipping all over the bloody place. Um, but yeah, some of that is, um, oh, that was cool. Um, that is, that's it. I'm not going to say budget, but it, it, it's, it's a one-off payment. One-off payment. Um, you, if you buy this yourself, though, guys, let me know. Again, um, one person has already, and then what I'll do is I'll just give you a unique, um. passcode and then if you leave your school and you want to take it with you then you just let me know and then I can create another one um and go like that but yeah, it'll, yeah i'll do it in in your name dare say the word um great yeah i've got no else now the the way is nearly over look at i mean yeah those the, the quality of the um the, the graphics is just stunning the information the detail is um is second to none and i think students will really really warm with this rather than it just being a, a mountain of um, information it's just going straight in to the key points key points you know vitamin c needs linking it to the different ages protein needs so yeah um oh i babbled on for 20 minutes now right bye bye